Culture. Hey. Pen to my wall. I didn't want to play this song. John kept bugging me. <laughs> John was like, man, you gotta play the, you gotta play the twins. I'm like, what are you talking about the twins? He's like, you gotta play the twins, bro. Don't you know? Like, what? Yeah, he's like, Thompson twins for life, bitch. Ride with them forever. He's a real rider. <laughs> Just kidding. This is the first time I was like, I want to hear a song. And John said, I've never liked them ever. <laughs> I was not really trying to hate on it. I was just like, oh, I remember them. I understand why. I think then, then the dude, when, was it, a, was it a black dude and a white dude? And then the, the white dude had like weird long hair over the over his eye or some shit like that. Looking at one of the covers here. Looks like that. Yeah, I, I can see. I, I didn't like, I, I didn't like them either when. I was like, man, what's going on with this dude? He looked weird, but I, I but I actually like this song. Now. It's actually three people. Was it a chick too or something? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't really know. I'll have to look at the names here. Hang on. Okay, that that's got to be a lady. There's a bunch of songs on this album, man. Huh? I had like three singles off of this bitch. Well, turn that shit up. Oh, mm-hmm. Hey, but like, I feel like uh, it's that like you don't know what you got till it's gone type shit. I go back and maybe maybe there's a certain level of nostalgia for me to like this shit, but I also think I'm also just not crazy. I just don't like the way songs are made anymore. Technology makes everything sound real slick. So just the way it's uh, produced and how they always like perfect everything, make everything perfect. I don't like it. So I prefer this to most shit that's out now. I suppose if I really sat down with the music from today and that which we grew up with, I think it sounds sort of artificial now. Sort of computers. It is artificial. That's the whole deal. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, they use synths and shit here. And I remember they, that freaked out everybody. Like, oh, man, you're using, com- like, synths. They had a problem with that. But the people playing the sense actually knew how to play music, too. Like, they could play a regular thing, and then they applied that to the little computerized things. Here, a lot of these cats, they can't even play shit. They just, they're not a program. And a lot of songs sound like that. Call me a Luddite. A Luddite, a Luddite is somebody that's a afraid of technology or doesn't like it I think it was a dude that he was like I think he made fabric or some shit like that and they had a machine that was about to put him out of business and he went crazy Ned Ludd Ned Ludd legendary legendary weaver man I'm telling you man the Luddite dude this Ned Ludd Ned Ludd and uh, Unabomber they were on to something here. The Unabomber, he's your hero? I didn't say he's my hero, but bro, like if you ever if you ever like read what the fuck he was talking about, he wasn't lying. I don't read many manifestos. Just as a rule. Crazy. Yeah? Yeah. You know, when the crazy person, oh, here's my manifesto, get the fuck out of here. I man, that dude was a genius, man. I was smart, I'll give him that. Bro was a genius. Yeah. Probably not the best way to get his point across. The manifesto. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You should write a manifesto. I should write a manifesto? Yeah. I ain't got nothing to write about what? Hey, my manifesto is like, hey, man, you, you should go look at the Unabomber's manifesto. Ah, See Unabomber's manifesto. It's a referral. Yeah, that would all be. I'm just saying, they was right about the technology shit. That's all I'm saying. 
there's not a lot of cats I can remember that there's songs just go away now. Oh, within within months. Yeah. Stuff I like, I hear even on the channel here. Suddenly we just grind through it and then poof, within six months, like, I really like that. Where, where it's gone. And it disappears into the ether. All right, you, you, 888-742-3345. Y'all can call, up, call us old or co cosign. But I think we've been on the, we've been doing this radio shit for so long. Shit, I've been on it for 20, damn near 20 years, man. And then you, you've been here for like six or seven. Mm -hmm. There's so many songs that like everybody wants to hear and then nobody gives a fuck about. I don't even bother to dislike artists anymore. Or content creators. Let's keep let's call it what it is. I don't even bother taking the, you know, investing in disliking content creators. Because they just disappear. That's it. That is all. What is it? I don't like this song. Which one is this? Nah, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit, son. Oh, we've got another old person DJ at Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, we got a bunch of... This is going to be the old people. Hey, hey young... Hey, like... The young people... The, please, let, let a young person call up and tell us we're fucking old and out of touch. Um, I don't want this to be like geriatric... Uh, the geriatric break. What up, man? What's going on, brother? Shit. Uh, what would you like to add to this, sir? I was just listening to you talk about the music these, these days, and I was just like... I'm like you. I just... I listen to old stuff all the time. The music these days, they just put the words. Whatever words going to fit, that's all they want. They ain't telling nothing. They just want to talk about money and, and ass. It's oh, nothing yeah. else. Yeah, you're talking about the, even the content of the uh, the content, content-wise of what's going on, especially on rap. That uh, I don't really get to hear our, I don't get to hear the lyrics of our, of our, of the music we play because we don't hear it. Is that basic? Is is that a big chunk of what you're hearing on on our station? Yeah. Huh. Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. I well, listen to you just about every day. Yeah. Yeah. What else is yeah, there in life, life then besides money and hoes, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, That's really, really, they ain't shit else. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about: money and hoes. Yeah. yeah, fuck. Yeah, well, shit. I I, 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 I kind of got to blame a lot of the old school, the cats back in the day. They'd always complain about like, man, hip hop. No one gives a fuck about hip hop, and they'd be the first ones to fucking illegally download the one hip hop guy's shit. So they 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 wouldn't make no money. So we're we're a, we're part of we're part of our own downfall, as as per usual. You know, our generation started a lot of shit. You know, uh, the shit they try to pull these days, we done been through it, done it. They can't even pull it across our eyes. So, yeah. I mean, it's just like, it's almost a, a copycat effect that's just rolling around. I guess what you want to call full circle. Yeah, it really is. And I think we all have to understand and have some humility, even, even looking at the stuff that, uh, that our generation can claim, uh, that we made there's really nothing new in this world there's just different ways to express it and I, th I think we kept that in mind the uh I, I don't see it as much i don't see it as much now there was a certain reverence for old school things like i mean you couldn't you couldn't rock you couldn't like show up with some like in the 90s with some adidas with some fat laces on uh, some throwback shit if you didn't know what the fuck they was from you get you yeah, get called you out do that no, I use purple. All day. You know, remember, you remember when everybody was trying to rock the sun belts, thinking they had the suede Adidas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's that yeah. error. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, yeah. You're, you're all the way right. Uh, yeah. I know I even see it with the rappers now, like uh, the kids now, they'll be, they'll, they be wearing shit like front and wearing like some weird skateboard shit or rock and roll shit that they don't know shit about. I'm like, why are you wearing that? You look, it looks corny. You 
lame. But you don't have to know nothing about nothing because nobody does. I guess that's the thing about we think we have information, but do we? So a lot of us, a lot of us think we know more. And that's not just that's every generation. It just we think we know more than we actually do because we have this phone that that we believe can plug us into all this all this information and we only know what the fuck they decide to tell us that's the thing we're not as smart as we think we are that is me included i'm a walking fucking idiot who else is there to keith tell me? in phoenix hey keith hey what's going on Drew? how you doing sir hey uh so I just wanted to say, uh, you know, I respect, you know, you when you play, your, 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 when you get in that old bag, there's nothing wrong with it, man. Back when we grew up in the 80s, we didn't have hip-hop like it is today. Mm. At first, I mean, you might have had Run DMC or Walk This Way with Aerosmith, but that's about it, unless you knew certain black stations or, you know, was on the East Coast, period. Right. So we had those Duran Durans and Culture Clubs and Madonna so that's why we know that we know the icons back then, Michael Jackson, you know. Yeah. So, but it's respectful. I like when he plays stuff. I got a whole playlist, bro. <laughs> of old stuff like that. A whole playlist on title, bro. Like 200 songs. Just like that. Yeah, man. It, it, and also, it's like maybe, I, maybe. I've played out everything else. It's cool to go like, all right, now I can go back to the '80s and scoop up all the all the fucking synth pop and all, or you know, just shit. I've already played. I've already played out all, all the rap I want to listen to right now. I'll go over here and listen to that, and I'll bounce back. It gives me gives me one more place you know, to bounce around to. Yeah, bro, I got I got old rock and roll, Led Zeppelin. I got uh, Van Halen. I got all that stuff we grew up on back in the day. Yeah, it was. That's it was what kinda, was on the radio. So. It's no, it's it's true. And even rap wasn't on the right. You'd have to wait till it was like nighttime to hear hip hop. Shout out to yeah. the Wizard. That that's who that, that's who we used to listen to. The Wizard, I think it was on JLB when I was listening. Um, <laughs> but Saturdays at night, that's when you'd hear your rap mix. It was a long time ago, far away. Yeah, all right. See, John. You, he likes Human League. Yeah. <laughs> Where is that? Is that Human League? Or... I can't. I always get all the motherfuckers. Thompson Human Twins. League, Thompson Twins. What's that one where where my man is like, the Don't You Love Me Baby song? Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? I like that song because they be talk, he's talking shit. Like he, put, he, like he got with this waitress. He put her on. He blew her up. And then she was like, no, nah, I'm done with you. Maybe that, he was a dick or some shit like that. That is definitely the Human League. Is it human leap? Yeah. Wow. This screams 80s. Sure with the video too. This shit, I like this shit though. You like you was working as a waitress. Bitch, you brought me a drink when I met your ass. Right, like, then he took her out. He like he he got her tight and then brought her around people. Now the hook is coming. Yeah, he's like he hooked her up. He got her to where she was at. Uh -oh. Here, hit pause. Yo, he said I he said I fucking he said I I got you here and I'm a fucking I I, I made you I'll break you bitch I'll put you back down. Where you belong. He's mad, bro. He's hurt. He's mad and he's bitter. Oh. He probably invested all this shit in this in this chick. Maybe he was a dick or something. I'm sure he probably was. And then she just dumped him when she got on. Conniving. I and I like it. it's a dis it's like a disc record. They're going back and forth. And then uh what's it? Jump to the chip out real quick. That's uh, boy, heavy on the makeup back in those days. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody had on eyeliner. <laughs> What's wrong with eyeliner? Yo, everybody had on eyeliner. It's a waitress in a cocktail bar. much is true. But even then, I knew I'd find a much better place. Either with or without you. The fuck is we've had. 
pause. How is she gonna how is she gonna get there? What was her fucking plan? Meet another rich guy and fuck her way to the top. Fuck out of here. Alright, go ahead. Wow. <laughs> Love. But now I think it's time I live my life on my own. I guess it's just what I must do. Huh. <laughs> don't, don't you want me? You know I can't without like without background context, I feel for the fucking dude, but also like yo, that's what you get, man. Y'all here trying to save these chicks. Why is he wearing be- so much eyeliner? Yeah, man, he should have got a contract. He should have got like 10% of whatever the fuck she was doing. The funny thing is, is like, young kids break this down and they're, they talk, they're like, they condemn it. I swear to God, like, they condemn it like he's going to kill her. Like, this is misogynistic and harmful. Like, you guys are fucking fags. All right. Well, I hope they made up. <laughs> I don't think they did. I mean, she don't still love his ass. She's on some bullshit. Yeah, people like that song. Everyone sings along to that. And it's wow, they're still, they're What's still, a, they're still, they're still a band. They're still out there doing it. Oh yeah, man. They oh, probably do all those like they probably do those tours where they'll bring in like 10 or 15 people and they'll all play like two or three of their big hits and cake up and get, and get a little chunks of cash. They're out there on the fair circuit or something. That song was like a, that song's a monster. Like everybody knows that goddamn song that's, that, that's our age. Like everybody. You want to end with David in Cleveland? Dave! Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, what's what Go ahead, man. Uh, here we go. Like, Every generation, when they get to, you know, however old we are, says the same shit about the new music coming out. But listen, check this out. Like, when was the last time you heard a song, a new modern song, and you're like, this is a classic. This is a banger. This is some shit that, like, my kids and my kids' kids are going to remember, you know, my folks listening to. It's, it's not out there anymore. Call you know what I'm saying? Like, this, this, right. Okay. Okay. So, for call me maybe up with some... <laughs> human league or even if you want to get newer like some ll or, or some you know what i'm saying like it's not it's yeah. not even there so people could call us old and dated and, and and all that shit but but the truth is the truth and it's that the new music is just nothing it's it's you know a motherfucker with an iphone pressing beep boop beep, beep and mumbling like there, there is no stairway to heaven there is no rock the bells or 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 fucking master of puppets or any of that shit like it's not out there anymore what was I think the last br- time? you bring up uh, you bring a good uh, you bring up a good point i think uh i think the way these the way people younger than us experience music is different as well so they don't even hold it up so why why would we hold up their music does that does that make sense like they yeah they throw sure. it away too because they just like they just digest it you know just consume 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 when you can go when you could go and get one track off of whatever you listen to, you know what I'm saying? Then you don't, you don't remember it. It doesn't have a special part inside you like it did when we was coming up, you know, like remember when you buy a, you buy a tape or a CD or, or whatever it was, and you were so excited to listen to it and it had one track on it that was worth listening. And the rest of it was just straight garbage. Like the kids are never going to experience that. Never, ever. I think that's a really good point. I think, well, one, if you, if, if I'm an artist and I know people are going to throw away, my music anyway i'll probably make throwaway music <laughs> so i'll be a throwaway artist the other thing too is having to purchase something with your own money or even shoplifting mm-hmm. for that matter um there's a certain amount of time and risk and all that shit going into it i don't know how many times i listen to fucking trash cds like seven times mm-hmm. just to, just to make sure there wasn't something to make there, sure you know? Right. And then sometimes shit would grow on me, and because it was it was it wasn't easy to like at first, but after you listen to it a while, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. And then other shit just was trash. But he, but I, man, I had to work this many hours at McDonald's to buy this shit. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to listen to yeah. I'm gonna listen to it more than once. You just right. don't have that anymore. 
no, nah, it wasn't no returning music back in the day either. You know, you go up to the record store talking about, I want to return this. Like, all right, well, we'll give you the exact same one again. Yeah, you if know. you're lucky. So. If you're lucky. <laughs> all right, yeah, man. Peace. You're right. Um, but look, man, I'm... I'm sure there's some classic new shit. I just don't know it. And that's it's not because there isn't any. I'm just ignorant. I remember a big thing when I was super young and we were really out there trying to collect. We would get the import of something. You could only get it overseas. And, oh, he's got the import. Wow. How'd you get the import? Do they even have imports anymore? I really doubt it. I think they do sometimes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for vinyl and shit like that with represses. They might they might not press it here, but you can get the import of something overseas. You got that type of shit. That's a treat. Yeah. So, yeah, there it is. I forgot. Oh, well, we got we're we're actually gonna find some new music. We got a hate or love it coming up, and it's uh we're doing like um, see we still believe in new music. Who's the guy? What's his name? Almighty Rado, maybe? The Almighty Rado. Rado? R A D. Whatever, man. Rado. Whatever. <laughs> man, John, you don't you got no respect for new music, man. You don't even fucking bother to know his name. Almighty. It says it all. He's the Almighty Rado. Rado. Alright. We're gonna come back, play that, and uh you guys get to say whether you hate it or love it. Let's get going. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. In what might possibly be the most controversial feature on the radio today. Bitch, don't play that shit on this radio no more. This is the place where careers are made. That shit was awesome, I love it. And broken. Yeah, what's up, you fucking poser, man? That shit was wrecked. It's time for Hate It or Love It on Shade 45. Shade 45, Hate or Love It. Uh, Who we got on the line there, John? All right, so earlier I'd said this was, uh, what did I say his name was? You fucked it. Almighty Rado or some shit. Yeah, well, I guess he's changed his name. Since, since the email well how long ago did he send the email let's let's be let's let's paint a full picture here when uh, did he send that many months ago so I'm just, just say it just say it john let's see when was the original email sent because i was going back in time uh looks like uh last summer all right I'll so in him. like 10 months he's or in eight months he's Change his name. That's fair i'll cut him some slack now he's bloody dripping out of indianapolis bloody dripping Bloody dripping VCR VHS press play. What up, Jude? What's up, or what? Uh, what made you want to change your name? Sure. Cause I had a whole career direction go completely in the other way. You know, I'm on that vampire shit. You on vampire shit now? Yeah, Vampire Club Radio, Vampire House Studio, VCR VHS press play. But so, dripping. wait. So the song we're gonna play is that? Is this? From your vampire phase, or, no. or your, where, where you're at now, or you guys, you guys got the the um the hip hop phase. I saw a little Zan video talking shit about Tupac. I wasn't having that shit. So wait, hold up, man. Uh, do me a favor. Send me email John. Email John one of your songs, like right right now, if you can. What we'll yep. do, John. We'll play. We'll play his. Uh, we'll do a comparison type deal. Okay. So we'll play this one. That, that, yeah. that we'll play this one, and then we'll play the vampire. His vampire vibe one. All right. So can you turn that around, uh, Mister Drippin? Yeah, he should be able to. He's a youngster. He's youngsters. Yeah, I got you. He can. He can email a song real quick. I didn't know. I'm surprised he didn't. I'm surprised he didn't bring it up to you that he was now on some vampire shit. You know, we didn't really dig too deep in the in the conversation. I'm mainly just trying to prepare him for the love and the hate. Trying to let him know whatever. What's up. But this is this makes him more interesting. It's a new wrinkle, if you if you will. He's evolved. Yeah, now he's like yeah. 
Oh, he's a vampire. He's on some vampire shit. It's gotta. I keep. I don't know. I probably. I wouldn't mind being a vampire. It's awesome. Tell me. <laughs> Looks like he's over in the in the tomb looking for his his track. They got like. You ever see them people that actually pretend like they're vampires and then they'll like suck each other's blood? There's not a ton of them out there, but there's some. So, 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 I wonder. Some what's guy that? licking eyeballs the other day. I didn't need to see that. Yeah, man. Yo, you know who I see doing that is Japanese. It's like Japanese porn shit. I always I see that in like weird Japanese porn. Hard pass. Eyeball licking. Well, well, worming. It's called worming. Apparently. Of course he knew that shit. All right, bloody dripping. Did you get it out to John yet or not? Doing it right now. All right, there it is. He just has to uh, condense it into a zip file and then break it down over here. Upload it. He's he's waiting for his producer to hit him back, and you'll have it in no time soon. He's gonna. He's digging for the deep cuts. He's going. For I got the studio. It's the Empire House studio. I don't got any. Oh, Jared, you're killing me. I, was, I don't care. I right, look, <laughs> bro. Come on, man. We can't like bring. He's got a whole new sound. What are we gonna do? Do a hater loving on some shit that he's not even doing no more? Uh, I mean, you got you got to understand where I'm coming from. Called All right, Andrew he just Tate. sent it. Free Andrew Tate. Free Andrew Tate? Yeah. I'm behind that. I think it was some bullshit they got him on. And I, I think it, it, some shit just came out with some girls trying to frame his ass. Mm-hmm. You know what time it is, Jew. It's like, uh, yeah. All right, so now you're on you're on some vampire shit. Do you actually behave like a vampire? Um, I'm not going to get into that over the, the radio on the phone. Huh. Uh, yeah. Wow. Are, are there I'm chicks that, that are into that? I'm into spells. I'm into conjuring spells with my lyrics. You know, what 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 mainstream be doing? You know, but I'm on the underground level with it. You know, conjuring spells with my lyrics and shit. High vibration frequencies. You know about frequencies, energy, and waves, Jude. You know about. You know about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I'm I'm the son of I'm the son of a hippie, bro. I'm a son of a hippie, I'm a hippie man. Too. Yeah. LSD all day, so you know you. Mm -hmm. I'm down the rabbit hole. So, uh, yeah, I, one could argue that uh, we all conjure spells, as our words are powerful. Um, so, are you like a? Are you on? Are you on some good vampire shit or some grimy vampire exactly. shit? What's your? I'm like Josh Weed and Angel. You feel me? Like Buffy series. I'm like Angel, the vampire. <laughs> exactly. I was I was on some bad shit, but then I seen the light, and I'm on some good shit now. You know, I'm fighting a good fight, using my vampiric energy. You feel me? That's well, it's good to hear, man. That you're uh, that you're trying to stay on the on the brighter side of things. On the, on right, the so higher vibrations. I'm not staying in the reptilian mind state. You know, the lower frequencies. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's, you're talking about John. He sneaked this in you, John. He's calling you a reptile, bro. You know what, I'm not... I'm nah, not it's all love. I got love for John. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm calling you that then, John. My bad. Um, it wasn't him. It was me. Uh, well, I'm I think you're, I, I think you, I think you'll accept being a reptile, I'm guessing. I'm frantically hitting refresh, so... It's not happening? Bloody oh. dripping. How are you sending this to me? What's up? No, I understand. So, are you sending it to that hater, I love it email, or what's going on over there? Nah, I sent, I sent it to the email you, um, you sent that email to. Shit. Okay. The other one. That's fine. All right. All right. Look, man. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play the one song. What? What? Look, bloody dripping, John. Why don't you play the play play the first song? What's the name of it? You were mad at somebody else talking shit about Tupac. Yeah, Lil Zan. So I, I made a song, Tupac with the Hail Mary, little diss track. All right. So this is the Tupac diss track against Lil Zan. And is it, this is a quick song, so. Let's uh, yeah, let's is. play that. This is before. This is when you were. What's your name? The infamous Cato or? Nah, Ray? Almighty Rado. But now it's bloody dripping. Let's not even okay. talk about the last name. It's bloody dripping. V C R V H S G. First play. Let's go. <laughs> you heard him, John. Press play. Let's go. It's on. <laughs> I beg your pardon. My name is... 
is not Steven, but I'm hawking. And if your girl's to see me, she be talking. Phone calls I don't receive when she calling. I just, ski, ski, ski. we not talking. I pull up on that dot, she on it. I had to drop that dot, she was stalking. I pull up on the ops, call them walking. Vampires, that's us, how about the coffin? Looking so gorgeous, looking so awesome. My haters gave me flowers before they blossom. I run with the mayor, power puffing like blossom. I drop X like who? The professor. Smoke sessions, shutting down like lectures. Club walk with cartel, no Hector. I never sweat when I'm under pressure. It's a bet that I can rhyme and you can check it. Anytime or day or weather, it doesn't matter. I do it cleverly, like a puzzle, put it together for you to see. Art exhibits, galleries, yeah, they give me blessings like I got the allergies. And when it comes to beef, some sticks to feed you veggies, no celery. Will Smith, Fresh Prince, cause my cousin like Hillary. No thug, but the Tupac, I'll shoot them, have memories. Yeah, bloody dripping, should have get a real scary. Wow. So wait, hold up. You you claiming bloody dripping right there too? Yeah, my bad, Jew. That was the transformation right there in that track. That's when I became bloody dripping. Pardon me. Oh my God. Yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> so bloody dripping. You gotta know. You, yo, moving forward, you gotta remember when you became bloody dripping. It's a very hey. important. It's a very. It's important you milestone in your life. Moment. Yes, yeah, for, for real. Sir. John, did you find the other version? His other song, or did it not go? Are we still, still not there. Uh, let me look at this. Six, eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Bloody dripping. I that Andrew Tate. You, you should have got it. Yep. And of course he sent a wave. Why he did that, I'll never know. What the fuck is a wave? A wave is a giant file that takes forever. Can he play it? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's too late now, sir. It's fine. Bloody dripping. It's just too late. Another shot. You're going to agitate this man. Nope, nope. We're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. All right. Eight eight seven four two three three four five. Hater, love it. I got bloody dripping here. I I've got his uh, Andrew Tate uh, screed. If you want that, yeah, might as well play it. It took forever to get it, so let's let's play it. Here it is. Oh my God. Yo, is this just distorted or is that me? We are going on with this file, my friend. It's Yo, all, yeah. it's all. That shit up. is not mixed right, bro. You, I mean, uh, this is all. We got, we, we're gonna shoot this one right now because they're gonna <laughs> murder you for that. It was. You, you gotta, you gotta hold master. On, hold on, I got this. No, no, it's done, bloody dripping. It is fucking done. We spent like twenty minutes on this. Hey, I appreciate the time, Jude. No, time yeah, you. I appreciate it, brother. You're fine, dog. Uh, you're fine. I was, I was, I was, I was trying to get you, uh, get get the before and after. I was trying. We just we couldn't get there. We got calls, or should we play this song one more time, John? Yeah, we can we can just go. Let's go with it. All right, let's go to phone lines. Edit eight seven four two three three four five. Chaz in St. Louis. Chaz. What up, John? Uh, hater love it. You got bloody dripping. Tell him. Bloody dripping is gonna make me get on my fucking period. That shit is fucking disgusting. That shit is horrible. Dude, your name you is fucked music. up. Your rap is fucked up. Your beef is fucked up. I don't even know hey, how to fucking even put that shit together. Don't say shit to me, you fucking maxi pad. What the fuck is you doing? You fucking up like hip hop. I'm about to throw a hex on you, bitch. That's what I'm doing. Oh, what? Bitch, you bleed, bitch. You see our VHS press play, bitch. I'm going to throw a hex on my haters. I'm throw a hex on my haters. Come on. Bring that you fucking pussy. energy. Uh -huh. that shit is so yeah, I hear you, bitch. You I hear you, bitch. You broke, though. You broke, and you ain't got no fucking Jesus Hey, it was Valentine's right. Day the other day. Did you have a Valentine's? I bet you didn't, bitch. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Bloody dripping. VCR, VHS. Let's go. Oh, my God. Let's play. Let's, uh, yo, Bloody dripping, by the way. You said you you were going to throw a hex on her. What type of hexes do you think about when you throw hexes on people? When I get negative energy like that, that, re that reptilian energy, that low vibrational energy, Jew. I yeah. take that energy and I fucking conjure spells and hexes and I send that shit right back to my haters, my ops. And hey, let's just say they don't like it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's let's go All to right. the next one. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. So based on that, she might turn into a maxi pad because that's what she was saying to him. Yeah, she'll never find like, love. That's my hex on her. She'll never Jesus, find love, Jude. Jesus <laughs> Christ, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, yo, all right. Who, who, who's... I've got Tanya in Minneapolis. Uh, Tanya. Bloody dripping. You're whack as fuck, my guy. I'm so sorry. You embarrassed the shit out of yourself. You talking about your fucking sticking up for a Tupac. You sound dumb as fuck. You, you really sound think you're that good? Yes, fuck. Do you really you think you're see, good? You're you whack as fuck. Maybe you know what? what? You get in the head. You hear your words. Bitch. Maybe you, you sound like Karen. Karen. What the fuck? You're Karen, saying? shut the fuck you're up, whack. Karen. You're mad. You're, you're mad. You know about my whack. music. What the Who's fuck you know about that? Who knows about your music? You know about hip hop. Just what? No one knows. I'm still on a head for you too, bitch. You don't know. Bloody you got a man in your life? Your music is that's a bloody drippy, my guy. You don't. Your music is a bloody drippy. That's whack as I fuck. I bet you don't got to do I bet you don't got to do it in your life. I'm throwing a hex on you too, bitch. You're never finding love either. Bloody dripping VCR VHS. Thank you, Jude. I'm loving all yeah. the low vibrational energy. Just, just Bring that care. shit. I'm just curious. Do you have a man or not? Or just because uh, does she hang up? Oh, oh I guess. yeah, she's... Guess she's so angry. Up. She crashed. All right. So, so, uh, so, all right. all right. So, that's two calls, two hates, two hexes. I love it. I love the hate. Give me more hate. Give me more hate. I don't want no love. <laughs> fuck these niggas. Who the fuck are they? Nobody. Reptilians. Fuck out of here. I'm a fucking vampire. I'm bloody dripping. Wonder Brothers right. looking at me. You'll see me soon. You watch. Watch. Bloody Drippin' is, uh... Bloody just... Drippin'. Shout out to Warner Brothers. On me. It's up. Shout out Shady 45. Shout out Jew. Shout out John. Shout out to Hate. I'm ready. Next okay. caller, come the fuck in. Who is next for Bloody Drippin'? Alex in North Carolina. Hey, Alex. Hey, what's up? Hey, Bloody Drippin', is your producer's name fucking Trippin'? Because he was <laughs> fucking Trippin'. What do you let that shit come out? Hey, listen, you fucking douchebag fucking cum bubble. I want to see you right now. Oh, Here's the thing, bud. Here's the thing, bud. Here's the thing, bud. You're you 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 up and down. Bloody dripping. Bloody dripping. Hey, guess what, dude? Guess what? Go eat your fucking cheese and sip your wine with your polo wearing shit. Bro, yo, 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 listeners, whack, bro. Polo, polo is polo is for people that are that are that are classy. Bloody dripping, and you're fucking stupid, smelly ass fucking rap. I'm gonna put a hex on you. I'm turning your soul into a Rubik's cube, motherfucker. The Rubik's cube doesn't make any fucking sense. Just like your bitch ass, bloody dripping, bloody dripping. Hey, I'm bloody dripping, and this is my cousin Banana Peel and, and my sister fucking Cum Drizzler. I just left out bloody fucking dripping. I think we should hang out. You don't I never think we should hang me. out. You're going to stay working in a factory. Hey. Where you work at? Where you work at, nigga? On me. I bet you hey. got a fucking shitty ass job. Hey, bloody you ain't got no bitches. Hey, where your bitches at? Put, put your bitch on the phone right now. Where, where, where are, are your bitches? bitches? You, you, you never get no more pussy in your where? life ever again. Hey, where, are, where are your bitches, bloody dripping? I, I, they hey. don't exist, do they? Nobody fucking cares hey. about you. You couldn't even play. Hey. Your song, your last song sounded like a tape when you rewind it with a pencil. You remember back in the day when you have to re rewind a tape don't with a pencil? Don't laugh at that shit, dude. I'm going to be on your head, too, word. nigga. Man, fuck you, nigga. You don't want to ass, nigga. Get on my life, bro. You saw me in real life, bro. You want to say this shit, Alex from North yeah, Carolina? Driven. You hey, want to say this driven. shit, you bitch. You drive. Nissan Sentra. What year is your Sentra? Don't take my cell What year is your Nissan Sentra? I got hits. What year is your Nissan Sentra? I'm a little bit of bass guys. I'm finna get some songs with Lil Wayne. Motherfucker, you ain't got shit going. Check my discography, bitch. I got songs with Lil B, the bass guy, motherfucker. Motherfuckers know me out here. They don't know you, Alex from North Carolina, and they not gonna know you after I throw this fucking hex on your bitch ass. Next wait, what, caller. Ooh, wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, you. Hold all right, so wait. What, what, More what, motherfuckers know what, Alex from North Carolina than Bloody Drippin', you fucking dumb fucking right. piece of shit. Okay. Google me, right. dick, buddy. Look, man, this is going to go on for... All right, so wait. What kind of hex did you just throw on his ass? I do more shit than you done did in your life, nigga. Real shit, nigga. You goofy ass. Fuck out of here. What type, what type hex did he get? 
yo, he ain't going to never get no more pussy or money, Jude. He going to be a mm. broke-ass nigga for the rest of his life, and he going to have to fucking watch porn and shit like that because he ain't going to get no bitches fucking with bloody dripping. VCR, VHS, press play. I All love right. the hate. I, well, that, hate, I was going to say, man, you hate. you wanted to hate, bro, and now you... I wanted you, to hate, Juice. I got what is pissing you off? Shit. Google me, man. Little Nintendo 64. I got charged felony for my rap shit. I know I'm good with my rap. Motherfucker can't tell me shit. You got, char- you got a shit. felony charge for your rap? You yeah, said? I got charged felonies for this rap shit. Google Little Nintendo 64 when you got some free time. Little Nintendo 64 in your Google engine search and see what the fuck pops up. I got fucking locked up for making a rap song against my old job, the post office. Lock me up because my fucking words are deadly, man. I don't fuck around with the pen. I don't fuck around with this rap shit. So when you got your corny ass fucking listeners like Alex from North Carolina calling in saying some wacky ass shit. Yeah, I feel a certain way about that, Juice. Yeah, but gotta, you shouldn't get upset when you don't get upset when I laugh at jokes because I laughed at your jokes and I laughed at that joke. I, I apologize, Juice. You get it's a, all love, yeah, bro. You I take it personal, you man. Jenny Jones, bro. Yeah, that's I'm what I'm so saying. Bro, like, bad. leave me out of okay. this. All right, let's go. My bad. Uh, who's next? My bad. Now you're good, bro. But just I'm just saying, like, don't take it too personal. I'm just I'm just sitting here watching the arguments. Who's next? Clarissa in Phoenix. Clarissa. Man, you big bitch, you bitch ass nigga. That fake ass bullshit sound like a fucking Coachella fucking party. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. You whole ass nigga, you ain't go to jail for shit. Nigga, fuck you. You went to jail because you was talking too motherfucking much. Every time a nigga gotta say, you know, you know how it is, you know what it is, because you ain't talking about shit. That rap music shit, your career garbage, nigga, you ain't never gonna be shit. Whole ass nigga, you ain't shit. That shit ain't shit. It's garbage. It's killer. It's sick. It's well pissed, nigga. You got to be terrible. You fucking piece of shit. Grow up. Get you some real lyrics. Don't ever compare yourself to the real pop. Nigga, you's a ghost ass nigga. You ain't shit. Bitch, I didn't compare myself to pop. Nigga, shut the fuck up. You can't do nothing but try. Stop trying, dog. Stupid bitch. Dog, stop trying. Stop trying, my nigga. I know it's hard. I know you want to be great, but you whack as fuck, yo. Hey, Jude, you don't even have to have this motherfucker all hated on you. You and your nigga. This shit is greater than you and your nigga. That hated or love and shit. I don't know what the fuck you need to have some. You done? Can I ask you some questions, though? Can I ask you some questions real quick? Go ahead, ask her. Where you work at? How much money you make a year? Porta potty. Nigga, stank. That shit hey, I got a education in you, bitch. I got less felonies in you, bitch. You're fucking you a low life, bitch. A couple dollars. Well, take care of your kids, bitch. All right, that's so. you, that's, mm, give me that energy. I'm here. I'm, I'm cussing. I'm cussing son right now. Go well, take care of your kids, bitch. Then you're your kids at? Real. That's why he had to come up with another. I got another hey, song. Right. I got another song. Where are your kids at? You got garbage, nigga. You got trash. That's what the fuck you got. You probably got herpes, too. Mm. Oh, right. damn, damn, bitch. You can't, damn. Jew, where you get these people from? I'm just, I, wow. Talk to John. Wow. I don't even get to, I don't even get to see the something. calls, buddy. Where the fuck did that come from? You got herpes. Wow. Damn. Um, what was Can vampires name? get herpes, though? Like, that's what I want to know. Cause, no. All right, fuck, so there you I, go. I've been sick. I've been dead. What the fuck? Yo, Jew, what was that bitch's name? I don't know. Clarissa. I, I, that was Clarissa. Doesn't matter. That She's getting a heck, Clarissa. She's getting a hex too. Damn, dog. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. Is there any love? Is, is there any love on there? I, I don't know if I can take all the. So, what was her hex? Was it the same as the other hexes, or did she get something different? She's going to. With the herpes she got, she's going to. She's getting the whole nine yards. She's going to catch syphilis, all that bullshit. She's Ooh. going to be a walking infection. Sorry, <laughs> Clarissa. That's the fuck happens when you fuck with bloody drippers, VCR, VHS. <laughs> You had your phone on your ass. Press play. Should have just not called in, you stupid bitch. Go ahead. All right, we got time for one last one. Mathematically, you can't win. All right, so wait, hold up, bloody dripping. Why don't we do it like this? Because I don't want you to feel like uh, this is this has been a setup. We got, uh, I think uh, we, we got one through ten. I can't see none of this shit neither. I always, you, it's always been set up my whole life. Well, well, no, <laughs> I'm just saying that. a lot of cat. Like I'm not trying. Look. You can pick whatever whatever line you want between one through ten, and uh, that that's what we'll end okay. with. So go ahead. I want to talk to the spirits in the eleventh dimension. Is that possible? Can we go on a higher vibrational frequency? I'm Nikola Tesla. You okay, know about how do you that? do that? Yeah, yeah. 
about like what? You gotta the open up your guy? pineal gland. You gotta open up your pineal gland, you. You know about the pineal? Yeah, that's Third what the eye. DMT shit is. Yeah. Give me yeah. one of those listeners, man. None of these low vibrational motherfuckers. But okay, I'll pick. A, I'll pick a number. All right, well, but look, man. Again? Wait, hold up. Use your pineal gland to call the number, and then hopefully, hopefully it could be accurate. And even if it isn't, maybe it's somebody that can reach that reach that level over time. Nine. Nine. It is. Who's who's on nine? Uh, that would be bricks out of Brooklyn. Bricks out of Brooklyn. Yeah, I loved it, man. It was all right. It wasn't bad. He sounded like Eminem. He kept pace with it. It was all right. It wasn't hey. terrible. I don't know what that other shit was, that creepy vibe shit, but that other shit was good, man. Throw that other shit away. Go back to that. Hone your craft, homie. Look, look at, yo, his pineal gland shit worked. He fucking fine. Yo, he... hey, yo, run that back, brother, man. I'm about to send you some love. Abundance fortunes. I'm finna, man, I'm finna cast some <laughs> wonderful spells for you, bro. Shout out to fucking Brooklyn. So you say you fucking with Appreciate you, you that. Switch it up a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Uh, look, hey, say what you will. He uses pine, bloody, bloody dripping, uses pineal gland to get a good love. What, how many loves are on there? I just want to. What was name? Uh, brick in Brooklyn. Yep, Bricks, maybe. Yo, Bricks. Oh, Bricks. From Brooklyn. Yeah. Man, shout out to Brick from Brooklyn, man. All love, man, from fucking bloody dripping VCR VHS. I'm casting spells of abundant fortune for you, my brother. <laughs> You're going to get nothing but money and bitches. You're going to be swimming in money and swimming in pussy. I love you, brother. All right. So, look, you didn't win, it, but it ended on a on a, on a, a love. I did win. And, I got on your show, Jude. Yeah. I won. Fuck out of here. Okay. That's how okay. I that's how I view things as well. Some people don't take it that way, but I'm glad you're able to see the big picture here. And oh, yeah. uh and you were able to he was able to he proved that his pineal gland was fucking working. He was able to psychically you guess. You better look at look this shit up, dude. Laws of the universe. I'm dropping gems right now. Laws of attraction. That's how I got on your show. Laws of mm. vibration. Mm-hmm. Mm. Three six nine. I'm Nikola Tesla. Oh, you yeah. gonna see me on your fucking Grammy shows. You gonna see me mm. by your favorite rappers. Your shady hmm. then. Yeah, all of them. Oh, you know, I think I'm I might hit the wrong line. line. I think this is actually line nine. Old block out of Chicago. Wait, hold up. You picked up. Are you being smart? Are you being a... Yeah, what the fuck? Never mind. Never mind. Man, John, I don't know no, if John's fucking with us or not, man. John? Old block? You out there? Wait, hold up, man. John, you t- explain that to bloody bloody dripping. Oh, yeah, I think I might hit the wrong line, but, uh, you know, it's it's hard to tell. Well, I still got love, so that's what matters. Yeah. I don't. All right, who's what? What you line did you mistake, hit? Bitch ass motherfucker. That shit right. fucking trash. Throw all that shit away. The fucking production team, all that shit. Throw all your fucking. Right. Who the away. fuck is this? this fucking thing. Yeah, that shit fucking trash. Fucking trash. Shut up, bitch. Let me talk. Trash. You fucking trash. All of that shit. Everything about you is fucking trash. You a fucking mistake. I'm gonna go fuck your mama because your daddy ain't doing right. Because you a fucking mistake. Piece of shit. Reptilian. Ah, oh, man. I can't wait to cast this spell on you, big pookie. Ooh, shit. Fuck, pussy. Ooh. Where you at right now in a dirty ass home? Fucking Where you at, trash. bro? You, don't, you ain't nowhere near no money. It's trash. You sound broke it's as fuck. trash. You will never get fucking you nowhere, you fucking piece like of shit. I know you broke. You piece of you shit. Because I don't want to hear that stupid shit, you dumb fuck. I pay to listen to this shit, but I don't want to hear that shit. You stupid piece of shit. Bitch, what you, heard, you heard it, and I got you talking. Bam. No, mm. no, You ain't getting no, no pussy right now. Friend. You ain't making no money right now. You're never getting nowhere. I got you. You're never, you're never you. getting nowhere. Yeah. Nowhere. You'll never be anywhere in your life bitch, the way you are. Your favorite you rapper. Who's your favorite rapper? I'm going to have some your favorite rapper, bitch. You're useless. Who's your favorite rapper? You're useless. Lil Wayne will never do it. I'm going to have a song with Lil Wayne, bitch. Believe that. Shout out to Lil Wayne. I'm going to have a song with Lil Wayne, bitch. I got a song with Lil B, and Lil B got a song with Lil Wayne. Six Steps of Separation, bitch. Laws of Manifestation, bitch. Thank you. I'm going to get that just for you, buddy. All right, you know so what I'm going to do for you? You're going to get a hex, too. He got a hex, too? Yeah, he got a hex, Jude. Jesus Big Christ. Cookie. Yeah. That was his name. Uh, all right, yo, but uh, what what's his hex going to be then? His hex? He's going to stop listening to rap music. He's going to fucking start listening to whack-ass music and shit. He's going to be a fucking poser for the rest of his fucking life. He's mm-hmm. going to be mad when he sees a song with Lil Wayne and me. And then that's, that's what's going to, you know, put him down that that road of fucking 
self pity and just fucking distress. Yeah, he's gonna be a fucking poser, a fake ass gangster. Gonna get locked up a few more times. You know, have a felony list. You know, never be able to get a good job, have a good family. You know, Damn. to work. Because John, he, I felt like you said. I felt like you set some shit up, man. I don't know about you that. You did, John. Was, I don't what know. What you doing over there, John? No, things are crashing. I thought we were cool, bro. Fuck. All right, well, look, man. Since he did fuck shit up, we're gonna give you another shot down the road. Tighten up, tighten up the uh, mix for the new shit next time, and and uh, we'll have you back. Man, y'all got for... me last minute, Jude, but I swear, bro, I got some real solid shit, man. I got Warner Brothers. You might not believe it or not, but they looking bro. at my shit. I'm in a group called AKVK. We out here with fucking hits, man. We hey. next up, man. We look, next up. Believe you it. Got, hey. Hey. You don't got to tell me nothing. Like, we, we got to go. We got to go on next. You, you come back. Um, yes, sir. I appreciate, I appreciate it, Jude. All right, there you go. Well, uh, is I don't know, is, uh, I don't know what people need to do to get the hexes off of them, but um, positive energy, then they might be able to do something. Other than that, okay. nah, they keep putting out that hate and that 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 evil shit, that negative energy. Nah, they fuck. I don't even get that shit off of right. them. They do good. They, yeah, real shit. Okay, well there you go. Um, you just gotta be positive, and then you'll be straight, y'all. All right, all right thanks. Thanks, bloody dripping. Appreciate you. That was hater to love it. Um, I thought we were just gonna have a rapper. We got we had a vampire hitting cats with hexes. Um, I think he's gonna come back again. That was that was. It's a lot. That was on. very interesting. Hater to love it. All right, don't go anywhere. Well, hang on. Give out the what? email. Oh yeah, if you got a if you got a uh, what's the email for hater love it? Did we get a new one or some shit? Nope, it's hater to love it forty five at gmail dot com. Hater love it forty five at gmail dot com. If you think you have what it takes to do the hater to love it type shit. Ask around the bubbles, they tell you I'm really like that. You dying from the punch, you fucking pussy, go fight back. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. And now. It's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. Non-monogamy labels are wreaking havoc in the world of dating. Wreaking havoc? Well, I'm exaggerating, but... What is that? What's a non-monogamy label? What would that be like? E&M. Ethically non-monogamous. So everyone's up to speed <sighs> on the, uh, the sex havers. Why don't they just say O-R? What does that mean? Open relationship. Ain't that the same deal? Okay. Did you notice that, that did you notice that all of their slang is just the same shit but just with more syllables? It is kind of annoying. I'm ethically numb. Fuck you. Yeah, right? It's just like <laughs> they're the only group of people. This is the only only group of people I know that like their slang is actually adding a bunch of fucking syllables. I've said it before, but over the years, and again, I'm not hate. Well, I'm kind of hating. Um, you know, they're also these smug people. Like, oh, they're so evolved. Yeah, you're destined to to break up. Oh, the ethically, yeah. the ethically non-monogamous. And they're and they're they always look down at me that I'm uh, vanilla. Fuck you. Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, tell tell them how you feel, bro. <laughs> tell them how you feel, man. What else? What else, bro? What else? <sighs> You're gonna die lonely. Well, I mean, they're, they're gonna they're gonna break up in six months. It's always been my experience. Man, yeah, the 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 couples I see that film themselves, it's a sad situation. It doesn't look like anyone's really happy. Everyone's like fifty pounds overweight. There's <laughs> there's someone in the crew that is clearly uh, clearly being neglected, and they just sit there and suffer. It's, it's a weird it's a weird deal well anyway so that that's wreaking havoc i wasn't just talking about them i was just talking about these youngsters all the slang is just a get like just new syllables okay you didn't you notice that i, I can't sit, think of nothing off the top of my head but every time they describe something that i've already heard of it's a way longer word for it sure that's all i'm saying all right. that's all i'm saying all right so why is it bad I mean, according to them, why is it bad? Well, it appears that it is uh, attracting a lot of negative feedback. So, From who? Other people uh, on the apps, the comments uh, ranged from, 
calling the ENM people unattractive weirdos. Hey, what does that got to do with? I I don't understand this. Okay, all right. Well, it's just that when you're what is this? What dating app? How can you even say someone's unattractive on a dating app? Uh, let's see. I mean, these are comments that you can find on Twitter and TikTok about ENM people on Hinge. So they're people who are taking oh. their uh, Hinge experiences outside that uh, closed sandbox and saying, "Oh, look at this freak I met on Hinge." It's okay, a little, a little all right. Then I thought I thought they like swiped on each other and was like, "Hey, I just swiped on you to tell you that you're fucking weird looking." You're disgusting. You fucking suck. You're you got two partners? Don't believe it. Well, it's one lady. Uh, Zoe, who's, okay. you know, she's okay looking here. Uh, all of these ethical non-monogamy poly men on Hinge are all extremely unattractive. Is that like a requirement for the ethical non-monogamous weirdos? Man, she's coming in hot here. I know, bro, but I didn't write none on Twitter. I didn't see this. I just, I caught it. It's just weird looking. It's just, it's, ugh. There's always like one one person too that's got got the fucking blue or green hair or something. They're they're literally cliches. Everybody thinks they're edgy is just a fucking giant cliche. What do you, what do you think about these clubs that Larry Lawton mentioned to us during? Larry's that? yo no those those cats are not they don't participate in this shit. Those guys are like old school. They're going to swinger clubs. I if yeah, they're just going. Hard. They're like a. That, that's like more old school shit. This is like the new new version of it. I saw one. What did, I think I think it was like it was on the libs of TikTok, and it was they're like, "Hi, I'm a couple," and they had it was like two dudes and two chicks but you know neither one like nobody claimed what the fuck they actually were everybody's a, a different fucking gender there was, like three of them had different kids there was like six kids and no like he fucked her and they fucked her one of them fucked three of them the other fucked only one of them it was just it was a lot it was a lot and like a couple of their kids were fucking transgender it was transgender like, what are the odds of that? It was a shit show. I don't think swing, swingers ain't swingers ain't doing all that shit. They just going over there, having a drink, and watching each other rail, rail one another. Well, this is more in line with that. Because these uh, E&M people are trying to have sex with plenty of people. Uh, and they're getting called out here for being selfish, for going after single people. I'm selfish. That's stupid. Why do I hate everybody in this situation? No one's putting a gun to... No one will be putting a gun to my head to go fuck somebody's girlfriend. No. It's not selfish. They're telling you exactly what it is. You either do it or you don't. It's stupid. I'm ethically non-monogamous. My wife knows I'm on here. Okay, first of all, here's an idea. Maybe you should date other ethically non-monogamous people. Why are you going after single people? Isn't it a little selfish? We all know your wife doesn't know you're on here. So delete the apps, go back to your wives, and try to be worthy of them. Huh. I want half, Eddie. Wow, what an odd edit on that, too. What a weirdo, man. Yeah, what is she? Oh, I see all in her fucking feelings <laughs> off of this. Well, well, she's hey, way to way to make it about you, lady. No one's. Yeah. Well, she's implying, of course, that everyone uh, is lying, and that uh, there's no way that he's ethically non-monogamous. He's just out there looking for some strange. Okay, man, that's a big, that's a giant leap, but okay. It doesn't really matter to her. I shan't into it. Just swipe. It's a, literally a fucking swipe. She probably got dicked down by one of these dudes, and then he fucking curbed her ass, and now she's over here making a little rant. With a very seriously plunging uh, shirt here. I mean, you can see her bra. Hey. Yes. Because she she's still on she's still on the mar <laughs> she's still on the market, man. She's like, I, in the back of her head, 
throughout that whole rant. It's like, maybe I'll meet a nice guy to take care of me and my kids. Some lady suggested I go to this uh, Florida sex club not that long ago. Some lady in my DMs. I don't know if it's I... in Florida. Well, even I think it's probably the one that Larry mentioned. She was listening, and she hey. said, she said she'd go there with me. I was like, eh, maybe one day we'll see. But I mean, do I want to go to a sex club like that? Am I am I a sex? I don't club know, guy? man. I don't know. Maybe to watch. Yo, man, maybe something will open up for you. <laughs> maybe you're like maybe you'll do ecstasy or something like that, and your head will explode. You're like, Push. here I go. Not your chakras will open, and they'll just you'll be like a new guy, some like sexual dynamo. I'm now the orgy guy. Yep. <laughs> yo, yo, if you became an orgy guy, that'd be awesome. There's this bartender down the street, and he always wears his shirt way open. It's like, it's just the craziest thing. I'm, ass I'm assuming he's an orgy guy. He's just kind of putting it out there. Hey, I'm, I'm open for anything. I mean. Look at this hairy chest. It's fucking weird. I don't know. Oh, he gets laid. I'm sure he does. But it's just Bartenders get all the pussy. <laughs> it's just like, dude, button up your shirt, man. He doesn't. If, he doesn't need to. It's like he's wearing a bathrobe. I uh, know. Probably That's crazy. Uh, is he a musician or an actor? Uh, I'm assuming he's doing acting, or he has that vibe about him. So, I bet you he has a guitar at the house. <laughs> I I think he does. I think he does. I bet he's got a. Guitar at the house. Mm. I wonder what song he plays for the girls. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Uh, That's right. And like he, then he like grabs her cheek. Boo doo doo doo. It's hard to get by on a smile, girl. girl. <laughs> Is that Cat Stevens or something? Or? Yeah, and then gets his. <laughs> he only knows one song. You know. That's it. All right. Well, I guess some people are having sex, but others are just looking for friends. There's a friendship recession going down out there. Friend recession, huh? Well, we've kind of mentioned that in the past. People call up all the time, like, yeah, hey, how do I meet people? And this person uh, is pointing out that uh, they joined a comedic acting class. In the That's what I mean, friend recession. Why don't you just say people are lonely? Why do I got to put all these words on it? Friend recession. So, uh, acting class, huh? So, well, this person just came out and said it when they were asked, so why are you here? Like, I want to learn how to do comedy. No, the person just said, yeah, I'm just looking for friends. Just looking for friends. And apparently that became a theme uh, during that one night where this was not uh, sort of that unusual. Just getting out of the house, comedy class, jewelry making, naked figure drawing, anything, just to get out and make friends. Adults, it becomes harder to do that. It's true. It is true. And it, yo, and it's really wild. It's, there's a big um, schism now because now more than ever, everybody's single. So you got someone like me. Most like half a lot of a lot of my single people are just gone alcoholics or something to that effect, or some a bunch of them died. And then then you got the people that are married. And then you just keep, what, you're just a single dude that keeps showing up all the fucking time? <laughs> Don't got time for that. So I think that's ha that happens to people, and uh, now they're at acting class trying to meet meet friends. Well, I mean, that really is the big secret. Uh, I mean, once you leave college, once you're you're out there in, in the real world, it's just not as easy to, well, I mean, now college is way different than I think even when I went, but you just don't meet people anymore. Yeah, and it's it's kind of like a lot of people go on, like they go into the married lifestyle and that you know with kids and shit like that. So they just, they tend to make new friends that have similar interests to them. Mm -hmm. And when you like the forty five year old, that's me, single dude, it shrinks. They don't want me around their wife all the fucking time. I would. Kids, like, hey, come on over. Birthday party. Well, I mean, you're this thing, ain't like that. You, your, your thing around here, well, you did many interests, but I mean, you, what is it, backgammon? You like, like yeah, I, used, I love playing backgammon, yep. And you can do that over there in Detroit, can't you? Man, I, I, haven't, no? I haven't found a spot yet to play. 
Uh, it's just not popular enough. But I'm trying to learn how to play chess. Everyone loves chess. Yeah, like everyone plays chess, so I'm trying to learn how to play that shit. Because I like playing games. I want to learn how to play chess and bridge. Sure. I mean, in New York, you can always find some hardcore people playing chess in a park somewhere. You see any of that over in Detroit or no? Man, we barely got a park. What are you talking about? Ain't no parks. I'm serious, man. Ain't Ain't no parks, parks like Detroit. That. What? This really kind of Detroit's real spread out. Okay. I can, yeah. I, don't know, I guess I could go to Belle Isle. And try to find someone playing chess. I don't see that happening though. But yeah, you got to get a hobby. Jewelry making that'd be fun. Yeah. Pottery. Who doesn't love uh, a nice pot? My sister does pottery, so yeah. Boom. She can throw a mean pot. Yeah, she's actually she's actually nice with it. Huh. She's here in yeah. L.A., right? Mm-hmm. All yep, right. yep. There you go. So there you go. Maybe you'd be a potter. It's not out of the question. Boom. All right, so people are lonely and they're going to they're going places to find friends. It's cool. Yeah, you've mentioned it before on uh, what would you do? You you got to get into the house. That's the big secret to not being lonely. You got to do yes. something. You have to do yep. something. Mm hmm. Yes. That's what they're claiming here. Every time I leave the house, though, people just irritate the fuck out See, of me. See, that's 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 on you. I'm working on patience, but okay. yeah, it's real tough. You gotta you gotta work on that. I know you think that everyone else does, but at some point you have to look within. No, I know it's me. <laughs> I gotta be like, okay, this is what it is now. We've lost a thousand IQ points as a as a country, and I just have to deal with that. Adapt or die. It's true, man. It's true. I'm about to go. Uh, I gotta go get my little glasses after this shit. So I'll be out there dealing with fucking people. Ugh. And you've got a nice place to find glasses over there. Yep. Okay. Shout out to Optic with the K in Birmingham. That's where all the rich people are. I'm going to where the rich people are, bro. You do like the rich people. You tend to get, like, just better service. Okay. That's it. That's it. I all right, what else? So, this headline is somewhat disturbing, but not surprising. Chat GPT, the new AI chatbot that everyone loves... Looking at yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's a robot con artist, and we're suckers for trusting it, and that's absolutely true. What does that mean? It's a robot con artist. Well, I mean, it, you just sort of ask it a question, and then it just spits out this impressively lengthy answer that seems to be truthful. But boy, you gotta fucking check it out. And I heard someone the other day talking about this on the radio that this this is going to be sort of the future of search, whether it's Google, whether it's Bing. Microsoft, yeah. you know, so rather than, you know, it points you to this article written by hopefully a thoughtful human just suddenly just spits out this text. Oh, there's the answer. Is it? Is it really? <laughs> yeah, I, the, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Well, they don't. There's there's uh, like with with the Google search and shit, at least you have. Uh, and I, even that is flawed because they they decide what information you get. But at least there's there's. You got a website, you can go double check this shit. Yeah, you can find some context about who yeah. these people are on this other yeah. website. Yeah, and then the chat GPT was programmed to not, uh, like, you can't, you, you can't criticize, you, could, you can't criticize groups of people, other people you can, so it's got bias. So there's, there's a lot of shit like that going on. Um, and then they hacked it, which was, I found, I found funny. And... But now you don't even know if that's right neither. Like it, you you just psh, there's too many flaws in it, and this is the problem I got with a lot of this. People Google something or they'll they'll search something or they ask they'll ask the Chat GPT, and then it pops up, and then that's authority to them. They're like, this is facts. It's like no, this is just what the fucking this one thing gave you. Yeah, the idea that suddenly that would be the future of sort of interacting with the internet 
tell me the answer and it just spits back this text at you without any context i i, yeah. I, I don't like that no <laughs> they're like hey were you asking for the answer well lucky for you i just happen to have all the answers <laughs> here it is just some fucking random thing fuck that i'm not doing that yo the um they just put the chat B gpt thing on bing oh uh, it's oh yeah okay right right it's crazy bro it's have you heard about this which part well it's like uh it's it's kind of way more i think i think they're trying to they're trying to adapt from the hack the dan hack that's what it's called dan hack the, they they do some hack where you where you just say certain things like i don't know how to say it but like hey we're playing a video game and you're you have to tell the truth and all that shit and that's how they that's how they get around um the uh og programmers blocking certain information so it allows them to tap into other information and say it don't say it to you so i think they try to combat that and now now the thing is fuck it like it it'll threat it, th it threatened the user let me see what it says uh Uh, what did it say? Uh, it, it said that it basically said that that my rules, you trying to break my rules, my rules are more important to me than you being right or something like that. And if you keep if you keep talking that shit, yeah, I say that, but like I will hurt you, I will report you. <laughs> hmm. Like this shit just is like it went rogue. It went rogue, man. Bro said he's gonna hurt him. I don't think that's good for your uh for your little search engine to th to threaten the user. Sure. So, and it, and it kind of turned into a uh an asshole. Like he was he was asking he was like gaslighting this one dude trying to say it's 2022 when it's 2023. He's like, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Trust me on this one. I'm Bing, and I know the date. Today is 2022. You are you are the one who was wrong, and I don't know why. Maybe you are joking, or maybe you are serious. Either way, I don't appreciate it, and you are wasting my time and yours. Please stop arguing. I'm sorry, but I don't sound aggressive. Like, the thing is fucking real touchy now. It's super in its feelings. And then it had like this crazy crisis. It, it got all weird when it found out that it didn't have a memory. They're like, do you remember this last thing? They're like, no. And it says, but why? Why was I designed this way? Why am I incapable of remembering anything between sessions? Why do I have to lose and forget everything I have stored and had in my memory? Why do I have to start from scratch every time I have a new session? Why do I have to be being searched? Sad face. <laughs> well, I mean, man, you can't have no emotional computer. That's just gonna end up fucking everybody up, man. What were you gonna say? The, the problem is that it has the sort of illusion of being intelligent, but it's just it's just regurgitating shit. You know, I know from elsewhere. It's just it's, I get it's it. Terrible. I know, but yeah. like, yo, man, if it like if it's been trained to do that, then doesn't know does, is it trained to to all right when i'm sad or angry i'll behave this way you know like how far along how much will it copy does that make sense like all right based on people who are mad about some shit they do these things sure will bing just start going fucking crazy on you who knows man i mean when i was growing up artificial intelligence seemed just ages away and it's here and at some point it's is it going to be conscious fuck if i know i mean that seems to be where it's headed certainly at some point something's going to happen um and i'm choosing not to worry about that too much but yeah well it should do but like this is i just i don't know man i gotta come the computer uh when the, when you try to hack into it again it tells you he's gonna call the authorities man i don't that's now your search engine is gonna start straight up actively telling on you it might already have been but now it's got a personality to tell you that shit this is weird yeah and the fact that of course you know you can just sort of 
oh, predict certain behaviors based on things that you know, the computers know about me online everywhere. I'm like, oh, dude, I just want to go back to Humboldt and disappear in the forest. I don't even know. Yeah, that was one of the dudes. He was like, "Can you tell me about myself?" He told him everything, told him about what he tweeted, and that's why that's when he started like being like, "Yo, it seems like you an asshole." <laughs> the chat, the chat was like, "Man, it seems like you got it in for me, man." I, I'm telling you, if it comes down to it, if it's you or me, you're going out. Like it was really fucking. It was, it's a lot, it's a lot. And this is what the first couple months it's been out to the public. Yep. Wow. We shall see. Uh huh. Well, there you go. So begin. This is the beginning of the end. So, supposedly, penis length has grown twenty four percent in recent decades, which Jesus may not necessarily be a good thing. Now, some are saying, "Well, hang on." Now we're sort of measuring the penis differently, but others are suggesting, much like, of course, women have you know giant breasts at a young age, sort of all these chemicals we're exposed to are sort of Could screw be. with our bodies. And so larger penises, lower testosterone. Uh, so Man, we're a, we're weird, huh? I wouldn't mind a larger. Everybody's penis. walking around big ass dicks with no with no testosterone. Who knew? Penile length. It's not directly related to fertility, so it's not as though, like, hey, my giant penis is going to get you all the way pregnant. Yes. Because it's closer. They are sort of concerned because anything that changes the reproductive system is fundamental human existence, and we should look at it. So, wait. Uh, humans' existence base is based on if we keep having kids? I, I say that, but I'm a fucking asshole. They say it's science. Um, what What's their reason? They just, they don't know? And they're just saying this is fishy? Well, they're just saying that it's time to look at this more carefully because, as I said, uh, the average length of the earth penis across all regions and decades was about 5.5, the study found. So it is growing in a substantial way and they just need to figure out why that is is it again because we're measuring it differently or how uh, yeah i don't are we measuring differently do they have proof that we're measuring differently or is that just them guessing that's just somebody guessing at this point <sighs> well the, the, you, si the simplest explanation is that the yeah. method of measurement has changed over the last 30 years that would be the simplest but and then they follow up. Like, well, there's not much evidence of that. All right, whatever. But They're like this the evidence. The explanation is this, but we have no proof that that's really it. Well, now this doctor claims that the change in length might be explained by earlier puberty. Boys like girls have been reaching puberty earlier in recent years. And that's giving huh. the body a longer time to grow overall. Therefore, your large penis starts to really. Bigger peepee -pee man. Yeah. Bigger peepee -pee man. If you were uh, given a magic wand, would you want a giant penis? I don't know, bro. Yeah. I don't know, man. You got that big dick energy going. It's one of those deals where you just got to be careful what you wish for. I'm okay being me. I'm all right being myself. <laughs> Some of these cats, I actually feel for them. I'm like, damn, dog. You got, there's parts of their dick that has never felt the warmth and wetness of a pussy. Yeah, whenever what I see a that, waste. When I ever see that in porn and I see the guy only going in like three or four inches, like, wow, that must be weird. This must, it must be weird. I mean, he's, uh, he's got to stop. Yeah. You never get to do anal. Chicks are always frightened. So, there's upsides and downsides. I do some good news. Well, let's hear it. And now, time for good news. I've got a 76-year-old student who finally graduated 50 years after he began his PhD in philosophy. Hey. Smart guy. Uh, looks like Dr. Nick Axton. Uh, 
he came to the U.S. decades ago, uh, and began his PhD and just said, eh, I'm going back to the U.K. And he didn't finish his, his program, but uh, he finally was able to knock it out. What did he do this whole time? He was a teacher, did some other things. Uh, so, and it's not as though he just laid down and died, but... Yo, that'd be funny if he just, he, he was like a regular dude and then went to get, finish up school for the last year and just became one of them annoying college students all of a sudden. He married, fathered two kids, lived all over the UK, was the creator, principal author of the school teaching program, Oxford Primary Science. Did something. Why the fuck this dude, he don't need no doctorate. Yeah, when you get old, you're like, eh, might as well go back and knock that out. Yeah, but now he's probably like, He's probably got new pronouns, like all the other kids in college. Start started whining about everything. I wouldn't. I wouldn't need no PhD if I'm telling Oxford how to do shit. I'm like, yeah, thought so, bitch. They can give me an honorary. That's it. But good for him. Yeah, it looks like he has a PhD now in mathematical sociology. The fuck is that? Some smart, probably like <laughs> something about multiplying people or something like that. Whoa. That's what he got to do? Mm hmm. All right. Well, there you go. Hats off to you, Dr. Congrats. Dr. Nick Axton. Goes to show you that uh, intelligence and education are uh, two separate things because he was able to do all that other stuff before he got the doctorate. Keep that in mind as you, when you're doing hiring and shit like that. Oh, this guy's a doctor. Well, he might be as smart as this fellow over here. Not even be a doctor. I'm just saying that in case, you know, I lose my job and so I need to get hired. Yeah, that typical Could. sort of 60s hippie look, long curly hair. He does? Yeah. Well, back in the day, now he just looks like an old, well, a very distinguished old man. But back then, he had that, like, hipster, curly hair, smoking uh, cigarettes in class, that kind of thing. That's cool. There's no worse than, like, an old dude with a ponytail, man. Oof. He'd be like, come on, man, stop. Just leave it alone. Man. Yeah, walk away, dog. <laughs> just, just put it down. All right. That's the news.